Hey guys, Renan Lopez here, and on this video, we will talk about performance in React using React Memo and use callback. We understand the concept of React Memo, an anonymous function, and use callback to actually memoize the function to avoid re renders. When we talk about performance and improvement, we need to make sure our effort is necessary to actually make our application performant. One of the things we will do in this video is get an application, a counter application, to use, use callback and React Memo to improve the performance. With these concepts in mind, you can actually apply this in your application. If you're till now you're following my channel, please subscribe and see you soon. To start, let's review what we have to now on our counter app. Basically, I create a counter app using next, so I use the npx create next app and use callback as a name. I have an index page where I import the counter button and our counter here. I use the use state to handle the states. If you don't know how to handle states, I have a link in the description with the video about React hooks introduction. On my counter button, I have on click and button text being restructured from props. My button I have on click and styles. The the on click just triggered the function you pass through props and here I pass the button text. So I had here in my counter button the console log render. So every time this will render will show on the console. Let's now start our application. So now we can access our application and let's see what we have on the console. So now we rendered two times, it means we rendered the decrement component and the increment component in our counter. So every time we increment we re-render the both components. But let's say, let's go back to the code and check something. In our counter button, we don't actually have any dynamic data. So basically our DOM tree is being replaced with the same data over and over again. That doesn't make sense. If I just want to change this counter, why am every time re-rendering the buttons? So that is the common behavior from React. Every time you render a component, all your child components will be re-rendered. To avoid that, we have something called React Memo. So let's add React.memo here in our component. Okay. Basically, what React Memo verifies is all our props are the same, so doesn't need to re-render. That's what React Memo does. Let's go back and refresh and let's see what happens. So now I have two render every time. Okay. What is happening? Basically, our React memo check always on click and button text, right? Our on click it's always a new function because every time this component renders, it creates this function dynamically, and all the times this function is being sent to our child component, and our React memo will identify on click as a different props. That's why it's re-rendered all the time. In order to fix that, we need to use the use callback function from React hooks. Let me import this from here, use callback. Now we have increment and decrement function. What this function is doing? Use callback receives two parameters. So the first parameter is the actual function you want to memoize or create in memory. The second parameter is what you want to change to re-memoize this function or to recreate this function in memory. Let's put the set counter here. So every time the set counter changes, we will re-memoize this function and whoever depends on this function will re-render and pass in the new information. We remove our anonymous function and we send the decrement function. So let's see now how our app will behave with these changes. So I will refresh. So first we have two renders here. So what happened? Basically this function increment was created and memoized and sent to this on click props. Here react memo got the on click and button text and rendered this component, the decrement and the increment. So now we click on increment and our component is not being re-rendered. Our DOM is not changing, in the sense of it's not being replaced. So that's it. This is how we use use callback and react memo to avoid useless render. If you like the video, please give a like and subscribe to my channel. So see you soon. 